Hey students, I'm back. Um, I had to change places, but I'm here. Anyway, I was uh, about to start uh, example four in page 982. So, um, example four. In page 982. Alright. And it is a war problem. It is still a system of equations problem where we have to solve uh, for two variables. And it is very similar to the problem we tried to work in. Um, Section 12, I believe it's 12.8, uh, where we talked about distance. Distance equals uh, rate, uh, rate, the rate of speed times the time. And they gave us um, the distance. Uh, we were missing, um, well, they, they gave us the speed and we were missing the distance and uh, the time they gave us in a we had to figure out like in a form of uh, two variables therefore we needed to look for the time and the distance so th those were two variables and um, we could have we could have used a system of equations like we we are about to do here and solve for that. However, uh, we didn't, um, but we figured it out because that's that's what we we're supposed to do. However, here we can use a system of equations. Now that you know how to use systems of equations. Okay, so the problem is. A standard rectangular highway billboard has a perimeter of 124 feet. Uh, the length is 34 feet more than the width. Find the length and the width. Well, I'm missing the length and I'm also missing the width. Okay. So see, uh, it's two two variables that we're missing. So that should be a hint. Um, and like we said. If we can set it up as an equation, we, we are um, one step ahead. Uh, that's one of the hardest uh, problems uh, to solve in a, a word problem. You know, setting it up as an equation. Working it out is another thing, yes. Uh, but um, I believe that setting it up as an equation, that's one of the key components. Anyway, um, here, we know that the perimeter is the equals 124. Okay, that's good. Our um, length is 34 feet more than the width. So they don't give us an exact length. However, they give us in a give give it to us in a form of uh, the width okay and the width well we don't know the width at all we don't have any any clue what it is however i can see here that we were able to make two equations there okay so if we can if we can use that knowledge there that would be that would be nice um i'm gonna go ahead and uh remove the book Pretty quick. Hold on. And that, and that way I can be, um, I can uh, maneuver better. Um, now, just like before, and we can see here that we have more than two variables, so that's not going to work. So because we we still don't know how to. Uh, solve for systems of equations with three variables. So we need to make this into uh, two variables. Uh, well, what do I know about 
this uh, variable here perimeter the, peri the perimeter of any tri triangle I mean rectangle is two times the length plus two times the width see so I can use this knowledge because now I can substitute that into here and now I will be working with only two variables instead of three all right so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and substitute these values in there for the P 2L plus 2W equals 124 and I'm just gonna rewrite this underneath here L equals W plus 3 4 all right so now I can see that I have two different variables I mean different equations all right let me see if I can make this work well yeah I think I can because if I move this W over to the side with the L I'm gonna make it look like this here so that's what I'm gonna do uh, I will rewrite the L there and then uh, just to make it easier just to make it easier uh, make sure you get the variables together it will make it easier on you uh, subtract W for both sides I will end up with L minus W equals 34 all right now I have these two equations here two equations there with two variables so that's good because I know how to solve this system of, this kind of system of equations and in this case we said um, oh in this case we were working with uh, the substitution uh, substitution um, um, method uh, which we could have used this uh, equation floating here already we didn't have to move the W over to this side that's only when uh, whenever you're using um, the elimination the elimination method not the substitution method so this could have worked right here because we have already solved for L see? so all we, all, we, all we have to do then is just substitute the L values in here into the other equation okay not into the same equation no you can't can't do that you need to plug it into the the other equation okay so i'm just going to rewrite two times l which is w plus 34 plus 2w i'm just rewriting everything else equals one two four and now I'm here now um, my constants are W's I mean my variables are the W's so I will be able to solve for W this time and operation uh, the other operation is calls for multiplication so I have a multiplication here, this two and this parenthesis. So two factors. Therefore I just review that two. Two times W is two W. Two times positive th um, thirty-four is positive sixty-eight. Alright. And then um, rewrite everything else I will rewrite everything else just to make it easier on me because now we can see that I can 
combine like terms. I have these two constants, these two variables. So 2w plus 2w is 4w equals. Well, here I can subtract at this step here, both sides, to keep the balance. And this cancels out. Here I have 160, I mean 124 minus 88 is 56. 56. Here I still gotta uh, use the multiplication principle. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times w is w equals 14. So the value for this variable is 14. So now I have found w, the width. Now I just need to substitute into one of the equations. It doesn't make a difference into uh, no. It doesn't make a dis difference which one you use because now you have a constant. So that's good. So I'm just gonna plug it into this one because it's already solved for L. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. Um, I will rewrite it right here. And then just substitute 14 for L, I mean for W. L equals 14 plus 34. And add them up, that's 48. L, my L. The length is 48, 48 feet. And then just answer the question. Mm, what were they asking? Find the width. So the width is 14 feet. And the length. is 48 feet and that should be the, that should be the answer uh, uh, yeah always make sure always make sure you answer your question all right all right so that's the end for uh, section 13.2 uh, and the um, method was called the, was called the substitution method and substitution method and we use that whenever we're solving systems of equations two with two variables or two or more variables um, but um, yeah because if we only have one variable it, it would have been easier very easy to solve for one variable uh, in this case we have two variables we're solving for two variables therefore we need a system of equations to do that and that's that's helpful helpful in those in those situations now you don't have to remember the name of it as long as you know how to use the method. Now in the book it's gonna ask you to, to use the substitution method or the, the elimination method which is in uh, uh, section 13.3 and but you don't have to. Uh, I mean you, you can use any of the any of the methods because as long as you s solve the equation you know solve uh, the system of equations you will get uh, get the right answer and the book is not going to know if you use the substitution method or um, the elimination method or if you even if you did it by graphing <laughs> so um, it, uh, it doesn't make a difference to me if you know the, no the names 
of the of the methods as long as you know how do you how do you do the methods at themselves okay um, because remember that you can use graphing to solve the system of equations you can use the substitution method and um, the elimination method which we we uh, we're about to learn um, why are we using this substitution method and the elimination method instead of just graphing it well sometimes graphing can be very tedious and it takes a lot of a lot of time a lot of time to do and that's one of the reasons however um, the reason that we do that we need to use substitution method and the and the elimination method is because sometimes your graphs don't cross on an intersection see like here the, the graph is crossing inside inside the square so it's not easy to, it's not easy to tell uh, which point that is uh, you can't you can't tell um, what your order pair is right there see that's why we need to use other methods instead of graphing so in this case the substitution or the elimination method that's why we're using them okay again you don't have to know the names as long as you can do, uh, use the methods now um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to section 13.3 and I'm gonna write that on a uh, new piece of paper uh, just so you know that we have moved on to um, section 13.3 elimination method Um, the other one was called the substitution method because you solve for either of the variables and then substitute it for that variable and that's how you that's how you um, that's how you um, find your variables one at a time okay because you substitute it that's why it's, it was called the substitution method um, now uh, for the elimination method I'm gonna go ahead and use example 3 of section 13.2 so you can see that we could have solved this using the, the elimination method too so I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite that example there and it is in page uh, 181 again um, I'm just rewriting it now. Two uh, so y equals six and three x plus two y equals four. Okay. So a few minutes ago we used the substitution method to solve the system of equations. Now we're going to be using the elimination method to solve the system of equations. Okay. The elimination me method is uh, the name of it implies that we're eliminating something. In this case, we're eliminating uh, variables. In this case, um, we can eliminate this too because remember that we can write all of this in one equation. So, for example, like this, and you don't have to do this because. Uh, this is only an extra step you don't have to watch but but you are able to like with the um, with the introduction uh, 3x plus x uh, plus 2y minus 2y equals 6 plus 4 okay see this this is what this would look like if it was written all in one equation um, 
However, you don't have to do this because that's just an extra step. Because here you can combine your y's, y variables, x variables, and your constants. And so uh, that saves you time, I think. And but watch, here we could have uh, combined like terms: three x plus x is four x, and two y minus two y. Well, those cancel out. Uh, equals six plus four. That's ten. Okay. Okay. And that's what this is what we got from putting these two system, these two equations into one equation. However, like I said, you don't have to do this. Just an extra step. Because watch. All I have to do this, uh, all I have to do here is add them here. Since they're already together, see? These variables are already together with that one. These variables are already together with that one. The constants are together. So I can just add them there. I can see that I can uh, add 3x. 3x plus x is 4x. This negative 2x. I mean, negative to y positive to y just cancels they cancel out 6 plus 4 is 10 see we could have done the same thing without having to uh, rewrite them in one equation and that's why we are able to to do this you know because remember that you can write them as one equation that is mathematically possible it is okay all right so now that we're here at this step, well, I can see that I have x, the only variable is x now and not x, y. So now I can use the multiplication principle to solve for x. Then divided by 4, well, in this case, all you can do is simplify. Simplify that into five halves. And so this is telling me that my x is positive five over two. And in this case, we can see that x is oops, five over two. Okay. So this was from uh, example uh, three in section thirteen point two. Uh, remember that we solve by um, solve the system of equations by using the substitution method, and now we use the elimination method, and it still worked. It still worked. Elimination. It's implying that we are eliminating something, in this case variables, okay? These two variables from uh, and these two uh, equations, we eliminate them because one of them is positive, the other one's negative. They have to have uh, like constants. And of course, uh, like uh, variables to be able to eliminate that and different signs those are three things that you need to have all right and then from here it would have been easy you know to uh, solve for y because all you have to do is substitute your x values into any of these two equations because now you don't have a, another variable in here these are constants you can plug them into any of these two equations now. All right, that's important. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, move to section 13.3 now to work out one of those examples. Um, just to show you what it would look like if we didn't have uh, something that looked like, look like this, you know. Uh, like uh, variables there 
like that with a negative and positive sign what what, what happens if you if you don't have uh, uh, this kind of scenario here well you make it you make it so how do you do that well let me go ahead and uh, write down example uh, three in page uh, example three in page 988 all right just so you know where I'm uh, working so you don't have to write anything really if you don't if you don't even have to all right I'm gonna head and write it down that's all that's all I'm doing right now uh, and it is 3x plus 6y equals negative 6 and the other equation is 5x minus 2y equals 14 all right so now that I wrote that wrote it down uh, let me remove the book real quick we right here to the side and work on uh, this example here by itself um, okay again I say we said that we could make this into one equation however we don't have to you don't have to just leave it like that because you know that it's still gonna work because your y's are already together, your x's are already together, and your constants are already together. If they're not, just make them so. Uh, move the variables to one side. Um, keep the constants on the other side, and you should be at this step, okay? And then from here, uh, if we're using the elimination method, again, remember that you need to have uh, like variables like constants in this case we don't see we do have like variables here the constants are different uh, here uh, the signs are the same okay one of them is positive and the other one's negative so that's good that's a good sign right there we do not worry about the constants because changing them is not gonna, it's not gonna make any difference at all you're still gonna have uh, x and y so don't don't worry about your constants Okay, so um, let's see, can I change this? Make it into a five, and mm, no, 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 you can't. Uh, you have to use, no, no, you can't. Uh, yeah, um, because the easiest way to, to do that is to multiply. Multiply uh, this constants by some value and in and make them uh, equal to the other constant okay so in this case if I multiply 3 times 2 that's gonna give me 6 so no that, that's not gonna work uh, if I multiply 5 times 2 that's gonna give me 10 so it's not gonna look like a 3 no no what about 6 6 times 2 is 12 no that's that's not gonna give me a 2 but what about 2 if I multiply 2 times 3 that's gonna give me a 6 so I know that Multiplying times three is gonna give me a six. Now I don't I don't even have to worry about the signs because one of them is already positive, the other one's negative. So that I think this is gonna work. This this is gonna be the fastest way to do it. Um, so I said that multiplying times three. Now can I just multiply three times two and be mathematically correct? No, no, because then the equation wouldn't be balanced. Okay. Um, so remember to multiply 3 times the whole side okay and whatever you do to one side you do to the other to keep it balanced that's why we're doing it okay and keep it mathematically correct you uh, we ha you will get a, di a different equation yes however we are going uh, we are going to have it balanced and it's going to be mathematically correct okay so in this case, uh, the order of operation calls for multiplication. So I need to distribute this three into the into the parentheses. So three times five is fifteen x. Three times two is negative six y equals fourteen times three is forty two. Um, and 
now let's see now you can see that we have a different equation for this one okay so I'm not working with this one anymore I'm working with this one so this is a variation of that okay and now I can see that these constants are the same these variables are the same so this term is the same except for the signs which is what we wanted we wanted a positive and a negative sign uh, it doesn't make a difference where because that makes these two cancel out all right makes those two cancel out these three x's this uh, this x 3x and 15x combined together and, um, 18x rewrite the equal sign now these constants combined together that's 30 36 yeah 36 and so uh, now we're here x can be um, um, isolated by using the multiplication principle here this uh, cancels out rewrite your x equals 36 divided by 18 that's 2 positive 2 so now we have that our x equals 2 okay by using uh, the elimination principle okay, method elimination method um, um, we used it oh not into that system of equation it was example 3 into this system of equations and it gave us <coughs> an x value of 2 okay so that's I remember that this x these x's are uh, have exactly the same value so this x value works for either of these two uh, equations okay so this is telling me that I can plug in this x the value for this x into any of those equations and solve for y okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and write it over here um, I'm just gonna rewrite this one uh, it doesn't make a difference which one you use um, as long as you substitute for your new value for x and rewrite everything else 6y equals negative 6 and here I can see that I only have one variable so so for that we're so for that variable so 3 times 2 is 6 plus 6y I'm just rewriting everything that's okay use the addition principle by subtracting side 6 from uh, both sides and that this cancel out rewrite my 6y plus 0 y well uh, here I divide by 6 use the multiplication principle so y equals 0 and my y if, uh, if I didn't make a mistake then uh, that should be the answer Let's see. no we did I did make a mistake somewhere what happened x that's 3 2 3 times 2 is 6 um, rewrite everything else that was my very one 6x mm. subtract 6 from both sides this cancels out oh no this makes that um, post, uh, well a negative 12 a negative 12 so this is my this was the mistake here uh, I subtracted 6 minus 6 is negative 12 12 6 
y on the other side. Use the addition principle, I mean that the uh, multiplication principle. Okay, here. Let's cancel out, rewrite your y. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. Okay. So your y should be negative 2. So the solution to this system of equation is the order pair to negative 2. Make sure uh, you write your x where it needs to where it needs to go and your y values where they need to go. Because it's very easy, you know, to write a negative two here and a two here. <laughs> However, this will be wrong. Alright. Um, okay, so we are done there. Um, and that's solving systems of equations by using the elimination method. Now remember that you can also use the substitution method. Uh, it doesn't make a difference to me which one you use. The book says you know to use the elimination method or the substitution method. However, uh, at the end it doesn't make a difference as long as you ha as long as you have the answer, you know the correct answer, you should be okay. So I don't I'm not gonna require you to learn the names of it, you know, uh, as long as you know the methods. Okay, so that was it for the elimination method. The only um, other variations, and this is why this section was so short. Uh, the only other variations is or are when when you have situations like this, where both of your variables they go away say like this uh, you're adding 3x to a negative 3x that goes away uh, plus the y and a negative y that goes away so in those situations where your variables go away remember that you only have two options either your equation is false or it is true okay so if it is false well then that means that you don't have any you don't have any any solutions at all okay you don't have any solutions at all because you have uh, two parallel lines basically see you um, graphs don't meet at all they never do so you don't have any solutions so that's what's going to happen when you have um, when your um, variables go away and your equation is false. False. <coughs> okay. And the other the other um, option you have there is when uh, your equation is true. Okay. Both of the variables still go away however your equation is true whenever you have the kind of scenario you have an infinitely infinitely many solutions okay so an infinite number of solutions and what does that look like in graph form well it looks like this um, it looks like that so in other words, um, two graphs overlapping each other, see? And that covers every uh, every single uh, value of each other, and therefore you have an infinite an infinite number of solutions. Okay, infinite number of solutions. Okay. So those are the only two scenarios that you're gonna run into. Um, and I didn't go. Um, I didn't go over this, but uh, that's because we are still using the elimination method. Remember that if you can't, if you uh, don't have two 
variables that are the same, with constants that are the same, just make them solve by multiplying. In this case, they multiply times four. I mean, uh, times um, yeah, four times two is eight. Four times three. Yeah, make sure you multiply times the whole side. Okay. Uh, four times three is twelve. Four times six is twenty-four. Okay. And then um, uh, once, well, um, also remember that your signs, your signs need to be different. Both equations. Okay. So. Um, and that's what uh, is going to make them uh, go away, okay? And that's why, why uh, the method is called the elimination method, okay? And if you run into a scenario that both of your variables cancel out, you only have two options. Either the equation is true or it is false. If it is true, you have an infinitely many, infinitely many solutions or if it is false, you don't have any solutions at all. All right, and that is it for uh, this lesson. Hopefully, this helps, guys. And uh, let me know. Uh, you know, uh, if I need to make any changes or anything, because this is the first time uh, I'm doing this. So, um, and here I don't have an audience. I don't have any anyone to talk to. I'm just talking to myself here, so it's a, a bit different. Uh, I even uh, heard myself failing in the silence there with us and us uh, uh, because I didn't I was talking to myself <laughs> so it, it works a bit differently but let, let give me some feedback you know uh, give me some pointers tell me uh, what works what doesn't uh, how can I improve this I don't I don't have a problem with it uh, I'm still learning you know um, and hopefully this will help you out and I will see you in, um, in the next video, whatever, whatever that is. All right.